Welcome back, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm just doing an April's favorites video for you guys. These are just some brands and new things that I have been using a lot in April and some things that I'm excited to use in the future. And this video is in sponsorship with Poshmark. So Poshmark is an app that you can buy and sell used clothing, which is awesome. I thought a lot of you guys would be interested in hearing about this since you're in the realm of loving to shop secondhand. So on there, I noticed there are a lot of like name brand items, so it's a great way to buy things like at a cheaper price as well as give them a new second life. So I guess second or third or fourth life. So they have brands like Reformation, Everlane. There's a bunch of vintage items on there as well too that seem like they're at a very nice price point. And I've created a shop myself, so I'll give you a little preview of some of the items that will be up there. If you guys want to make a shop yourself, there is a link right in the description box so you can download the free app. And with that being said, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about like sustainable underwear and sustainable socks, which is something that I myself have been on the hunt for. But I thought I would share a brand with you that I really like. So Jonesy is kind of like an ethically made underwear company they're very transparent in how their underwear is made and the owner just sent me this pair and it is seriously my new favorite pair of underwear the fabric is so soft um, and it's like a high leg cut piece of underwear which I really like that style um, because it's a little bit cheekier than just like normal underwear and yeah these are just super super comfy I got them in a size medium someone was asking me that on Instagram next I got a set that I have wanted for so long and I've been very interested in checking out this company. Um, so you guys have probably heard of Girlfriend Collective. If not, it is this awesome company that makes like workout clothing and leggings and stuff out of recycled plastic water bottles, which is they just like break down the plastics into little pieces and turn it into fiber, which is like the coolest thing ever. I am so happy with this set. I'm definitely about to buy another one just like right off the bat because super comfy. This is like the softest material and like the way it stretches and fits to your body is just super, super nice. Next, I've been loving using barrettes in my hair. So this just like brings me back to being a kid again but I'm growing my hair back out as you guys can probably tell and it's starting to get like long again which is nice but I always like just want a method of pulling it out of my face and I thought this was just a cute way so I've been buying these just like vintage and yeah I found this one the other day it is just like a very classic bur brett and then I have some in my hair too and I've just been collecting these and yeah you could easily like make them yourself too i feel like at like michael's and like craft stores you can buy like the actual barrette like clip and then you could like glue stuff on top if you wanted to which is what i'll probably do next because that sounds pretty fun next i thought i would share with you this lavender spray i made my best friend meredith actually sent me one of these for my birthday last year i think and then i just wanted to recreate it myself and you just take lavender like essential oil and then mix it with distilled water and then alcohol. So I think I just used like vodka that was in my freezer and then essential oils and distilled water and it just smells really good. And then I bought these little blue jars and just painted little like lavenders on them, which is really cute. But I've just been loving like having these and spraying my room with them and making everything smell like flowers. It's just really nice. And I just like doing little crafty things. Next, I thought I would share this candle with you because this is probably my favorite candle and favorite scent I've ever had. It's a hand poured so scented soy candle. You can get these at Whole Foods, um, at least here you can. I'm not sure if they sell them like elsewhere in the country, but potentially they might. It's made by Brooklyn Candle Studio. And these, I just wanted to shout these out because this candle has lasted for so long. The scent is just very strong and nice, but then I've burnt this for so long and it's still only like halfway through the candle. So I think it's like a $20 candle, but it seriously lasts so much longer than all of my other candles. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like this is a really good deal and it smells really good and it's also a soy candle. So 
Can't go wrong there. I thrifted this at Goodwill a while ago and brought it to Panama with me and was like wearing it the whole time there because it was warm and just like fun hat. Um, but now that it's started getting warmer here, I definitely am excited to start wearing these like straw hats again. And yeah, I feel like straw hats are just gonna be a big thing going into spring and summer this year, especially like the big wide brim ones. Um, and yeah, this one was just, is kind of a cool shape in my opinion. So I thought I would share this. I think it's kind of fun. Next, I thought I would bring in a food favorite. So I put this in like some what I eat in a day videos in a, a while ago and then I stopped using it for a little while and now I'm just so back on the grind of using my air fryer. So I have an Avalon Bay air fryer. I'll look and see if I can find like the exact model to link for you guys below. But I'm just so obsessed with air frying things. It's makes everything taste so delicious. It's like super easy to turn on and off um, and things just cook really fast. So I make like fries in there that are just like really nice and crispy and so good. And then I put nutritional yeast like on the fries and it's just so good. And then I make like cauliflower wings, which are really tasty. And I've just been making a bunch of stuff in there that is really nice. So I thought I would talk about that with you guys because yeah, it's just like a game changer in my kitchen for sure. And I am such a lover of kitchen appliances. I am obsessed with having new kitchen appliances. Lastly, I thought I would talk about some books I've been into. So I recently, I haven't gotten through all of these, but I thought I would just go over some new like audible books that I bought. So I got This Changes Everything by Naomi Klein, which is kind of all about like climate change and just like how we're handling it and new like perspectives on that. So I thought that was cool. And then I got How to Win Friends and Influence People because I've always heard about this book, but I just thought it would be kind of an interesting way of like, I think it just teaches how to interact with people and I just found it kind of interesting. It's always like one of those top like noted books and I thought I would get into that. Um, and then I also got 1984 by George Orwell, which I haven't read that one either, which a lot of people have talked about it for so long. So I thought I would start listening to those. I had like some audible credits like stacking up that I didn't realize I had. And then so I bought like three books at one time. So I'm starting to listen to that. And then I'll leave you guys with one new album that I've been listening to. So Dr. Dog, I think this must be pretty new. He just came out with an album and I love Dr. Dog. <laughs> and it's called Critical Equation. And just all the songs in there are so good. Um, I'll leave a link below as well, but I've just been listening to them like nonstop the past few days. And yeah, you guys are always asking about my music recs and stuff, but my uh, I'll link my Spotify down below so you guys can find it or I'll write like the name. Spotify is kind of hard to link for some reason. It like never works. So those are just my quick little favorites for this month. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and make sure to go into the description box and check out Poshmark if you haven't already and I will see you so soon with the next video.